Hey, what's up, everyone? It's uh, Whip and Sean here once again. We're doing a new video game review for you guys. And this game, this very special game that I hold dearly to my heart and always have been, is Street Fighter Alpha, the anthology for PS2. Well, fuck, I owe a lot of uh, thanks and gratitude to Capcom for making these games because the Street Fighter Alpha series helped define me as a human being, helped bring me effects. Because where would I be without effects? And what is effects? That's right, Fighters Extreme. What did it start as? That's right, a fighting game website, thanks to games like Street Fighter Alpha. Now what you're seeing here is the briefcase that I've had for many, many years that I store all my personal best belongings of all time. Like all the things of capital years, the things that meant the most to me are in this briefcase. And in this briefcase are things to do with a lot of fighting games, many of which are the Street Fighter Alpha series. What you're looking at now is the, the Pocket Fighter Strategy Guide. And here's some Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter Alpha 2 artwork that I've had for many years now. Here's some Street Fighter Alpha 2 uh, strategy guides, moveless and everything. Like you can see that even back then I was totally into it, like in the 90s. I, I, I loved that shit. And I kept it fucking close to my fucking heart. It means a fucking lot to me. And this here is the collection of all the games in it. There's Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha Go and Street Fighter Alpha 3, and of course the Pocket Fighter. What you're seeing right now is the original Street Fighter Alpha, which I never really liked it that much because it was too much uh, uh, trying to be like a part two, like a Street Fighter 2, like even with the music and everything. And thankfully with uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2, they changed it. Oh, there's me, that was awesome. You like that, guys? That's fucking awesome. And Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold was the first Alpha game that I ever bought. I bought it back on the original PlayStation back in like 97, 98, bitch. I was hardcore back then. Way more hardcore than any of you guys are right now. Let me fucking tell you. Oh, yeah, here I am. I'm Akuma. I just, oh, there's my Dragon Punch. Fucking kick it death. I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a Chun Li here, the Raging Demon, right away. Just oh, right now. Here it comes. Bam, 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 bam! There it goes. Knock you out, motherfucker. That's how you fucking do it. Whip, whip style. Let's play some uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 now. Uh, this is probably my favorite Alpha game. It has the most characters. Uh, the moves are more advanced now. Uh, there's more, more options, more, uh, more of everything basically. It's just well, well fucking rounded. It's fucking awesome. And it's also the last uh, Alpha game too, which was released in 1990. Yeah. Awesome.
let's a fighting game should be some non-stop fast action, wicked moves, amazing characters. You don't get this much more these days. Anyways, Purple Ten will shoot better in all the mythology. And if you think you can find a collection of better fighting games, I like to see you try. Because you won't find one as good as this. Not in a million fucking years. Because those days are over, bitch. These these games here are from the 90s, okay? Not the, the 2000s. There's, nothing good has come out of the 2000s yet in terms of fighting games. And you know I'm right. You know I'm right, okay? Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, PS2, Capcom, Perfect 10, Out of 10, Effects Review, Whip and Sean, reviewed it out of here.